Throughout the course of our reviews here at Season 1 of OSMVTXReviews.com, which is all about comparing things of the past or old and to things of new, we've gone through a few things from vinyl record players to MP3 players to phones to tablets. And here's another retro side of things. Um, after, you know, around the age of, be, you know, behind CD players and really behind, it's after vinyl records were these, the cassette players. I know we don't see a lot of these anymore, but they are still around there. We can still find cassette tapes in stores, believe it or not, um, of audiobooks and stuff. They still work fairly well and they're still pretty common. They're inexpensive and, um, you know, you can record your own voice with these. So the actual device I'm going to show you today, this is uh, two generic products. This, this is a Sharp um, uh, a Reverse, which is one of those... Uh, older cassette tape players are more classical. You also have a built-in FM radio, as you can see that you can adjust on the top. You have a headphones so with a multifunctional device in addition to playing cassette tapes and recording. You have your radio. Um, there's also tuning and you can connect your AM to FM tunes. Um, actually, on the left-hand side is where you're going to have all your connections to your AC adapter to your play pause, your stop, and your rewind. Um, rewinding it as a tape has to be rewinded. You also have a volume slider which is easy to use. Again, one of the biggest downfalls of these types of products, we all have these. We don't have so many Walkmans of tape players. They're just really bulky and square boxy in general. The battery compartment though, battery is pretty long lasting. It just runs on typical AA batteries. Um, the radio function is a nice add though. It's a nice, nice touch to something that's like this in general. So um, it, it's fun. You have a few more controls up front that can change the bandwidth. We also have a few um, maybe equalizer sections, and equal, you can actually see the tape being rewind up here, um, which is it's, it's fun and it's easy to use in general. Now, um, another device which is actually newer. This device is actually, we just got this a few days ago, if you can believe us. But this represents like the stuff that you can find really inexpensively. If you look online and actually want to buy this, it's only going to cost you like 15 to $20. But what's the big deal here, this is actually an RB customized product. Now, for those of you who are uh, understanding of a little more clothing and stuff, we've definitely gone to malls and you've seen these clothes and t-shirts and stuff that comes bundled with stuff like... Uh, with these little kids' toys with them, um, like especially for children, they come bundled this little toy value pack, and you can buy these in a lot of stores. Um, but it's like a free gift you get for buying like a more expensive uh, t-shirt and a pants like a set. Um, this is one of those devices that should be coming for uh, with a, as a bonus, but you can also find it online. Um, if this is a cassette player. This is actually a newly branded version just for maybe children in general. It's inexpensive and it's cheap. It plays FM radio and auto scan as well as cassette player. It's, it looks like a CD player, but really it's not. Um, how you open it, there's just a play play button and there's also a stop. The Chrome buttons, though, are all really easy to use and nicely adjusted. Opening a device, just you just open it up like so and um, your lid is open. You can definitely take out your tape. Um, right now, this is... Uh, we're just playing a few music and testing out the sound. Now, surprisingly, sound quality is pretty good because, as you might expect, with all cassette players, the sound quality is pretty much all identical. Well, big joy there. Everything is pretty much the same, which is one of the biggest issues with cassette players because pretty much as everyone started making these, they, did, they became more and more common and not as, not as valuable, which is why we moved on to MP3 players and the design element of things. But still, this is fairly useful and... Um, yeah, it's definitely something if you look around, if you're playing a few audiobooks and stuff, it still works quite well. That's just a look back at Cassette Player here at the retro section of OS and VTXReviews.com. Thanks for watching.